Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a wall that breaks when you shoot it. Uh, if this helps you, please consider liking and subscribing, it will really help. And if I find out a better version, I'll update you guys. Alright, see ya. Okay, so once you're in studio, start up a new base plate. I choose I just chose this one because I thought it looked the best so first go into a toolbox I'll do a separate tutorial on how to make a gun for this but just for now look up pistol and then if you scroll down I'll put the model in the, in the description but there's a gun called pistol filtering enabled I found that it's the best for this and I'll show you why when you're inside the game and you shoot the gun. A little model comes up named bullet, and that's what you need for the wall to break. So now what you want to do is put down a part and just make it as big as you want. Now what you want to do is get smaller parts and then you can get as many as you want, and it does not matter what they are. You could do a wedge, or you could just do a regular part. You want to make it the same size of the, as the wall. Before you do anything, make sure you anchor all your parts so they do not fall apart before you break it. Now select the smaller parts and make them transparent now name the bigger part whatever you want I'm gonna name it wall you can name it whatever you would like I'm also gonna name the smaller parts dev one this is this just means debris one and then I'm gonna copy and paste this multiple times but as I copy and paste it I'm gonna change the I'm gonna add one to the number So as you can see we have Deb1, Deb2, Deb3, and Deb4. Now I'm gonna add a script and a humanoid. Remove print so we have a clean script. Now we wanna find each part. So we'll say local wall equals script dot parent oops parent dot wall whatever you have it as in workspace where it says wall right here name put whatever you have and then this could be whatever you want I could name this W for wall if I wanted to but I'm just gonna keep it as wall just so you guys know what it means and then next do the same thing for the humanoid I'm gonna name this one health because the humanoid is our health and then same thing script parent humanoid next do it do the same thing for all the debris so I'm gonna name this d1 then equals script parent dot dev1 I'm gonna copy and paste this multiple times so this goes faster you can do the same and then change the numbers on all of them. So now we have D2, D3, and D4 along with D1. Now we want to put wall dot touched connect function hit. Make sure you put open brackets and then a closed bracket. You want to have open bracket function close another open bracket hit and then close bracket. Okay, so now what you want to do is type a equals true. Now what you want to type is if hit dot name is equal to bullet 
because bullet is what comes out of the gun and that is what it's named inside of workspace and a is equal to true then you want to write d1 dot anchored is equal to false so this falls and then d1 dot transparency is equal to zero once the wall is broken the first debris will fall and become visible and then you want to do that for all of them i'm gonna space it out so i can see each debris clearly and now just retype the number okay now we want to type a is equal to false so now we're writing this so we cannot break the wall again because that would not make sense obviously and if we make a equal to false the statement cannot run again and now we want to wall we want to type wall dot destroy oops colon destroy and then it should automatically fill the brackets in for you and then we have end i almost forgot the health right here where it says then you want to delete that and type and health dot health is less than or equal to zero then so now it will read if the if the humanoid's health is zero or less than zero it will destroy it and it will not destroy it unless it is zero or less than zero so now if we pull out the gun and start shooting the ball the humanoid died and now we can push down the wall and now if you want it to explode just overlap the parts and it will explode if you found this tutorial helpful like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye